Hey, what's up and welcome back. So recently Nintendo has dropped the third wave of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course DLC and I wanted to give my first impressions of it. I am admittedly a little late on this because it has been around for a couple of days now but I only just got around to playing this game because I've been kind of busy recently so uh, yeah I'm just gonna give my first impressions of the eight new tracks that they added and uh, yeah let's get to it. Oh yeah this is also my uh, my main character here the Inkling Girl on a pipe frame with the roller wheels and the cloud glider. And yeah here are the new cups that they added the Rock Cup and the Moon Cup. So yeah, uh, let's start off with the rock cup. So let's select it and three, two, one, let's go. London loop. All right, here we go. You know, one thing that I've been noticing a lot with like each wave that Nintendo puts out for the DLC is that each of the tracks are getting much nicer looking to look at. Maybe Nintendo has gone more time to, you know, make the tracks look the best it can be. Maybe they didn't have enough time to do that in the first wave DLC. Uh, who knows, really? Although with that being said, it's still a little bit like, I guess, generic, really. That's an issue I have with like most of these like uh, tour tracks that are related to like real world cities. They just kind of blend in together for the most part because they're all just like buildings really in my opinion there is no difference between the tokyo track the new york track uh the sydney track or even this london track because they all look the same with the only exception being that maybe there's some big building that makes it different for instance in the paris track how are we going to know it's a paris track oh just add a bunch of buildings and then add the eiffel tower okay but what about uh the london one? Oh, just do the exact same thing but instead of the eiffel tower uh put in big ben Yay. But at the very least, this is the best looking like city based tour track uh, in the game. Oh, somebody dropped their mushroom for me. Oh, come on, really? Anyways, yeah, we got first place, pretty smooth. Uh, we did not need those mushrooms, thankfully. So uh, yeah, first place, woohoo. Anyways, next up is Boo Lake. I always like the Super Circuit Retro Tracks because keep in mind that for Mario Kart Super Circuit, most of the tracks kind of look the exact same. As much as I like Super Circuit, one thing that I have an issue with in that game is that every track kind of feels the same. Because of that game's visual style, uh, they couldn't really make anything that crazy with the tracks in Super Circuit. And because of that, most of them end up feeling the exact same uh, in each one, with the only difference maybe being like a different coat of paint. Like, oh, you're in a desert, or oh, you're in a spooky uh, ghost level. But because of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is obviously, you know, better and higher visuals, they can make the tracks look really dang cool. And yeah, the Super Circuit Retro Tracks are my favorite because you're comparing this to this. And it looks really pretty. Uh, yeah, Blue Lake, a uh, pretty good track. All right, next up is one of my personal favorites, Rock Rock Mountain from Mario Kart 7. Even though I don't like Mario Kart 7 as a game, I really do like the tracks from Mario Kart 7 because I personally think that Mario Kart 7 had some of the more uh, cooler looking original tracks in the series. The only issue though is that Mario Kart 7 gameplay wise isn't anything that special, especially compared to Mario Kart 8. So because of that, I don't really return to Mario Kart 7 that much just because, well, I have Mario Kart 8 and the gameplay for Mario Kart 7 is just Mario Kart 8 but worse. With that being said, this one definitely does look like a tour track. I mean, look at those look at those rocks. Look at this mountain. Like, that is definitely a mobile game looking uh, mountain right there. There's like no texture in that at all. Am I still able to take that broken shortcut? Let me see. Uh, yeah, I can. Yeah, this one is definitely like the least impressive looking like track so far. Uh, most of the visuals in this track really does look like uh, the Mario Kart Tour game. But hey, I mean, it's fun. Just wish it kind of looked a little nicer, you know? Also, they added these little things. That's kind of cool. Anyways, yeah, while I'm here, I guess I should mention which tracks I really want them to add in the DLC. Even though it's a shot in the dark and I highly doubt that Nintendo would add this one, I really want Moonview Highway for Mario Kart Wii to be in the DLC just because I absolutely love that track. I'm a huge sucker for nighttime road environments and Moonview Highway is just, just fits that vibe really. I love the vibe that track gives off. But anyways, yeah, we got first place here. Alright, now here is the big one, Maple Treeway from Mario Kart Wii. Uh, one of my and many others personal favorite. The detail in this track also looks pretty good too. I'm not sure if Maple Treeway was added to Mario Kart Tour or not, but like, if this is a Mario Kart Tour track and, you know, it just looks slightly worse, it still looks really well on mobile and it looks really well here. <laughs>
I really love the music too. Like it sounds less MIDI compared to the original version of like Mario Kart Wii. Because as much as I love the music for Mario Kart Wii, especially Maple Tree Ways, uh, some of the tracks in that game kind of sound too, I guess, generic. They kind of sound like MIDI files really. But because Mario Kart 8 has a more, I guess, bombastic soundtrack, you know, all jazz and whatnot, they can really make uh, some of the music in these tracks sound much better. I should have taken the shortcut there, that would have been very cool. Yeah, they also replaced the half pipe here. That's really cool. The half pipes in Mario Kart 8 are much better than the original Mario Kart Wii 1 because anybody who used the half pipes in Mario Kart Wii just know how, like, it absolutely kills your speed whenever you use the half pipe in that game. I mean, they're cool, they're fun, but they ultimately, like, you know, make you slow down. So thankfully, the half pipes were improved in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe to where it doesn't kill your speed. And just like that, I pretty much got first place in every single cup. Pretty cool. Alright, I guess it makes sense that we have to go through the one that I'm honestly the least interested in. Ooh, I like the moving cars though, that's kind of cool. Oh, we get to go to a train station? A subway? Oh, only partly. Oh man, I thought it was just split between like, you know, going into the cities to like a subway. Um, I, that would have made this track very cool. You know, I really hate the blooper item, especially in situations like this. Like, not only does it not, like, you know, make it make the track more difficult, but it just, like, ruins, like, you know, the visuals. Like, let me see this new track, please. I hate the blooper so much. Why, out of all the items that Nintendo decides to keep bringing back, it's the blooper? Like, they removed the fake item box, they removed the giant mushroom from Marker Wii, but they kept the blooper? Like, are you kidding me? Watch this. Yoink! Oh, that's smooth. And yeah, that's Berlin Bicep. Alright, next up is Peach Gardens. Yes, I love this track. I love this one in Marker DS, and I love this one in Marker Wii when it was a retro track. Love, love, love this one. Even though this is my first impressions of this track, from what I heard on Twitter, there is one uh, new change in this track, and I'm very excited to see it. They made this part of the um, the track easier to navigate around. Yeah, it's a lot easier to like drive in this track now because like in the original version and I think also in Wii, it was very hard to like maneuver around those chain shops because they were so big and you had to like turn really like sharply and whatnot. But in this one, they're much easier to dodge. Huh? Oh, there's a new route. There's a new route. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait, are we gonna go in a reverse in the track? I think we are. That's awesome. Oh, this is really cool. All right. I love this. I love this a lot. Also, I see that they added the, the Monty Moles from the original version as well. Yes, they added a glider section. Yeah, that's actually kind of interesting. Uh, I wanted to mention this in the beginning of the video, but yeah, they updated the game to introduce some new features, and one of the features is that the lightning bolt no longer, like, uh, you know, makes you unattach your glider. In the old version, when you're gliding and a lightning bolt hits you, you basically, like, drop dead to the floor as, you know, your glider unequips. But now, uh, you still glide even if the lightning bolt hits you. You just lose your item now. Yes, it's Christmas. Mary Mountain. Oh, I love this so much. Can, Can you believe, believe it, guys? guys? Christmas, just a Don't week away. Oh. Christmas, Christmas is in a week. week. Yay, anti gravity section. I love anti gravity sections. Ooh, watch this, watch this, watch this. Oh, come on, really? That's not cool. I really like the design of this track. It's really cool. I love Christmas themed stuff. So, yeah, this is right up my alley. An issue I do have with it, though, is uh, just the layout of the track, I think. You could sort of see in the mini map that it's sort of just like an oval shaped kind of track. Do you see that? Did you see that snowman over there? I love that snowman. Uh, shout out to that snowman there. And I'm gonna go all the way to victory. Can I go through the wreath? I don't think it goes to the race, but imagine if you can, that'll be really cool. All right, here we go. Give me Mario Kart 7's Rainbow Road. Come on, come on, come on. Do it. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. I am one of those people who think that Mario Kart 7's Rainbow Road is the best Rainbow Road. So seeing this, oh, it's so awesome. Look at the road too. Oh, I love it. God, I love the road too. It looks like candy. Oh my god. Yeah, this is really cool. 
I'm not sure if this is a Mario Kart Tour track and it looks exactly like this on mobile, but if it does, aw oh man, it's beautiful on there too, really. Alright, here we go. We're gonna go through Saturn too. This is one of the reasons I love Mario Kart 7's Rainbow Road. You kind of go through a journey in space rather than just a Rainbow Road in space. It makes it feel like a journey rather than just a track, which is really fitting for, you know, Rainbow Road, which is typically like the last track in every Mario Kart game. Yeah, we got to this part. And then we get to go through on the moon. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, this is everything I've ever wanted and then some, really. Oh, uh, let me see if I can go through the glider section. Yeah, I'm a gamer. And just like that, I'm gonna get first place onto here. Just gonna throw the shell back to see if I screw anybody up. I think I did. Haha, <laughs> that's very funny. And I won. That was, once again, a perfect Grand Prix race. And yeah, there you have it. That was pretty much Wave 3 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC. Honestly, I think that may be my favorite wave of the DLC so far. Great track selection. The tracks themselves look absolutely great. The detail on the tracks are getting much better with each wave coming out. Like... Like the DLC is actually getting much better. I remember when the first wave came out and everybody was so mixed on it But now it seems that everybody is pretty happy with each new one that they release But yeah, a uh, really great DLC. I uh, love wave 3 and I'm very excited for wave 4 and beyond So yeah with that said, uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Stay cool Chocolate nuts.